Marlin here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be doing some more fall decorating. Uh, we're going to be putting together our, my big cozy corner, the, the, the cozy corner that started it all. <laughs> and I'll explain that in a minute. And I'm also going to be uh, doing a tray design. After I'm done doing the cozy corner, we're going to move over to the kitchen table and I'm going to make up a tray design to be put right here on this credenza. And I do have a small Amazon haul to share with you. One thing I'll show you when we're doing the cozy corner here and another couple of things I'll show you when we get over to the table. So uh, before I get started, let me real quick uh, ask you to, if you would uh, consider subscribing to my channel here. We're really just getting started with the fall decor series here. And I pretty much decorate pretty solidly uh, from now through Christmas. I, I will be taking a, a little bit of time off to do a cruise <laughs> in September, but other than that, we'll be pretty much steady decorating and then uh, even cooking around Christmas some and doing all kinds of things here on my channel. We really ramp up at this time of year. So I would really be humbled and feel very blessed if you guys would consider subscribing, hitting that subscribe button and clicking on the bell and then a drop down menu will appear and you can click all so you never miss a notification. Then hit the like and share with your friends and family, please, if you wouldn't mind, so they can come over and join us too. I consider this a safe haven, never a bad word spoken, and always a safe place to come and spend a little time. So anyway, with all that said, thank you guys for, uh, for letting me say all that. I appreciate that. And let's get started, huh? Let's get started. All right, let me turn the camera here a little bit and, and give you a peek at this uh, credenza. Here we go. Our big TV, let me tilt you back a little bit. Is, excuse my light ring there. It's right above it. I, I always kind of say that, you know, I really don't try to hide the TV. It's rather large and in charge. This is a large room. And when we first moved in, we had a smaller television and put it up on this wall. And it was like, what were we thinking? <laughs> and ended up having to get a little bit larger of a TV. But anyway, this credenza is one of my favorite pieces of furniture that we have in the house. It's been here ever since, well, about six months after we moved in. Uh, it is hooker furniture and it does match the kitchen table and chairs and black hutch and desk out in the kitchen. Uh, this is a companion piece sort of to those. It's really not. Uh, we picked this out, but it, Chris picked it out actually and he, he did a really good job at matching. Uh, it, it is the holder of pictures galore. I'll open it up real quick here, show you. It is the holder of, I have uh, boxes and boxes of pictures. There's my mom and dad on their wedding day down there on the bottom. I don't think you can see, you can see the tip of it there. And uh, I'll show you that. There they are on their wedding day. She looked like a princess, you guys. <laughs> my dad with his crew cut. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, this is, you know, where I keep all of my old scrapbooks are over there and uh, all of my pictures and uh, everything. Now, all Everything picture related is, is held here, which I'm really glad I can keep it all in one place. All right, as you look across the credenza here, you can see that I often have put some subtle decor out. Uh, this is where the tray design is going to go right in the middle and you can see the candlestick holder there. And that is the companion piece to the one that's sitting on the hearth that I painted, chalk painted last year. I didn't want to unhook or ask Chris to unhook this because he's got it rigged up in his way where he makes a, you know, a flaming flickering candle into one that I don't have to worry about wasting batteries. It's plugged in with the USB cable and all sorts of things. That video, by the way, is always linked. His tutorial video is always linked in every description box of every video I put up. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can go and listen to my husband teach you how to do that. <laughs> Anyway, that is our eldest daughter over there. That's Kristen. She's a kindergarten teacher, an awesome teacher. She was teacher of the year in her fifth year of teaching. She's an awesome, awesome teacher. And uh, you can see, I just have a willow tree figurine that she may have given me of uh, mama holding her 
child in front of her and then that's me and one picture there holding our little grandson Maverick and then little Maverick in the blue and white framed picture. Uh, and then on either side of center here, you can see that I have a, a this is just a glass pumpkin. Oh, goodness. And this is nothing more than a candle ring. And the candle ring actually matches the garland that I put on the mantle the other day. They definitely were sold to, you know, as, as a grouping. And I just didn't want to put the candle rings over there. I wanted to be able to pull them over here. So that the two candle rings that the blue uh, pumpkins are sitting in are companion pieces to that. So there is a method to my madness. I don't have anything under there. I'm just tilting the uh, pumpkins up with the, you know, the ring of the candle ring. So, and I think that they look just very subtly pretty there. And then this is our youngest daughter and Maverick's mama right there. And this is my husband, Chris, holding Maverick when he was just a baby. Two handsome dudes right there, let me tell you. And then, then this is just little Maverick when he was about six months old. And then uh, I've got two of these. Kim from Sweet Daisy Creations, bless her heart, gave me one. Thank you, Kim. And Candace gave me the other one. The other one's sitting over on the big hutch. So I just kind of wanted to go through this credenza first and show you everything that's on here. And then you guys will see uh, how we put together the tray design in just a little bit. And then uh, at the end, I'll show you pictures of how the tray design looks sitting on the credenza and how everything looks all as one. Now, let's move over here to the cozy corner. Uh, let me first tell you a little bit about this cozy corner. Uh, I had, of a fr had a friend. She is no longer with us on this earth. She contracted ALS a few years ago and passed away from that horribly insidious disease. But uh, she and I met on Facebook, actually, and her name is Liz, was Liz. And she uh, and I both had Newfoundland dogs and that's the way we became friends on Facebook but she was also a blogger and she is the one because I used to share my decor and and whatnots and I was I'm a chatty Kathy and always would put descriptions up and she is the one that encouraged me to start my uh, country craft corner blog BLOG and she was the one that helped me come up with the name of a cozy corner because she always complimented me on my little vignettes that I do. And she said, we need to come up with a name for that so you can add that to your blog. And so that's where we came up with Cozy Corner, the name Cozy Corner. Uh, I always kind of dedicate this corner to her. She was a very special lady to me and her husband and to Chris and I, uh, every time we went to Alaska, she lived over there off of, uh, on Vancouver Island or Victoria. For those of you who cruise in Alaska and stop in Victoria, she lived right there and you can look off of her deck and see all the cruise ships coming and going. She always used to take pictures for me. <laughs> so she was a lovely, lovely lady, sweet spirited lady, let me tell you. So I miss her terribly. But so like all the rest, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to dedicate this corner to my sweet friend, Liz. Liz, if you're watching, I hope you like what we do this time. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm gonna get my camera situated in a couple ways and Chris is gonna come over and help me do a couple things. Uh, I've lost a, a, a good chunk of change of weight, but, and it's getting better. My knee is actually getting better and better, but still, I, I still, if he's here to help me, I'm gonna take it, you know? <laughs> so I'll be right back in just a second when we get ourselves situated and we're gonna put this cozy corner together. All right? All right, be right okay, back. Okay, guys, I'm over here. Chris is standing behind the camera for moral support, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this because I'm feeling pretty good today. So uh, first of all, I wanna show you, this is a funky bow I made, oh my goodness, last year, the year before, the year before that, I'm not even sure, to be honest. But that's the first thing I want to add in the middle of this swag. You can see right here, I have a swag. Also, honey, could you push the camera a little bit forward and let me show them, explain a little bit how we've done this. Uh, I wanted to let you know, first of all, we have, this is a ladder, a six foot ladder behind uh, this tobacco basket and this swag and then this picture. 
and we have two hooks on here that we purchased. They're like garden hooks that you would use to hang hanging baskets on, you know, in the springtime. We bought them from Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't remember which one, but we had just have them tied on to the rungs of the ladder and we moved them up and down the, uh, the ladder, depending on what I want to hang where. Right now, I have a little lantern hung on here, and Chris has got it rigged up in his way. Um, can't hardly see that lantern. Down just a little. Oh, that's okay, they can see it. And um, as you can see, I made a swag, and I made it to fit in between the tobacco basket and this picture. The tobacco basket was from Hobby Lobby, and inside the tobacco basket, I simply have a grapevine wreath wrapped in pitberry garland, half of a hip pitberry garland from Hobby Lobby. And then oh, we hung a blue and white plate in there. Chris used one of his hangers, a spiffy. Uh, <laughs> he uses metal coat hangers for all this kinds of all these kinds of things, and he made me like a little. Uh, plate hanger and attached it in there. Uh, and then the rest of the gar uh, rest of the Pitberry Garland we use, I used here in this uh, swag and I turned greenery pieces on one another like the stems and tied it together with the Pitberry Garland. And that is all. Then I stuck some blue roses in and that is all that this swag has on it right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add this. I usually have a blue and white bow hanging in the middle. I'm not going to remove this swag. I do have another one that I'm going to use somewhere else in the decor, but I'm going to make this look harvesty and you're going to see how in just a minute. So first thing I'm going to do is I've, I've taken a tie wrap or zip tie or cable tie, whatever you call them, and I've threaded it underneath the pipe cleaner that I used to close the bow. And then I'm going to simply tie the bow on, onto this swag, onto where I, you know, I tied it all together. And it's got the, and I'm not going to fluff it quite yet. So actually I could fluff it. So next thing I want to do to add a little bit of harvest in here, so we know I'm adding harvest blue to the harvest. The harvest is going to be the, uh, the star of this year's fall show. I'm just add, using the blue more as an accent piece. So what I want to do is take just a couple of fall picks, little pumpkins and little berries, and I'm gonna put some going this direction. I'm not even gonna tie them on. I'm just gonna stick them in to the, to the um, swag itself. Move it that way. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing coming down here. And see I have a hook on it I did this last year too and I'm just gonna kind of hook it right into the into the swag and you can see that that kind of brought the fall kind of right into the mix here I don't like how this one looks over here one of the little closer. Okay, now. Okay, and now I want to move up here to the wreath and I just want to add a little bit of something, something. So I have two more picks of the, of the pumpkins and one pick of the berries. And this doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Just want a touch of fall up here. Now 
and that'll be about it, you guys. All right, so that, my friends, is gonna do it for the upper portion of this cozy corner. So let me get my camera situated again, and I'll be back and we'll do the lower portion. Here comes the hand coming in to help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, you guys, I'm back. And uh, first thing I wanted to talk to you about is, well, first this chair. This chair was my little rocking chair when I was a little girl. It, um, circa about 1962 or three, <laughs> I have pictures of myself and little video of myself blowing out or trying to blow out my birthday candles. I was terrible, apparently, at burning, of blowing out my birthday candles. I had to blow about 50 times to finally get them burnt, uh, blown out. But anyway... Uh, this is a chair that my mom kept through the years and that I have brought back in here and put right in this cozy corner and I decorate it through the seasons. I love this little chair. It's one of my favorite little, little accents. I have it sitting in front of the ladder, as you can see, and the blanket on here is the one thing that I wanted to, uh, tell you that I got from Amazon. This is the one new thing out of pretty much this whole decor this whole video that I purchased new and I will put it in my Amazon uh, 2022 fall accent gift idea box. And I'll give you an external link for that right underneath my main link of my Amazon storefront in the description box of this video. All right, you can see here, I have a whole uh, basket full of accent pieces that I might use for this decor. Let me explain though. First, underneath the blue, that's a blue tablecloth here. And there is a Longenberger, ba big Longenberger basket underneath there. It, that is the holder of other blankets. And that is nothing more up here, is nothing more than a blue uh, pillow cover over a uh, pillow form that I can fold in half. I folded it in half just to give me a little bit of a backdrop and some different heights to work with. Uh, this pumpkin I've had for years and years. I got it from Occoquan uh, from a harvest home show or something they had years and years ago. I've had it for decades. So that's just going to sit here on the floor. And let's try to decorate up this, uh, this little area right here first. And like I say, I'm trying to, yes, the blue is a nice background here, but I am trying to bring in more of a harvest feel this year. So this guy has little blue jeans on and his brother or sister is over there on the hearth. So I'm gonna start with him up top, I think. And the same Helen that made me the blue fabric pumpkins, and I can give you a link to her uh, Instagram. You will just need to tell her, you'll need to message her because I don't think she has it public. Her name is Helen, and uh, if she still makes these, you can message her and say, hey, Arlen sent me, and see if she still makes this type of thing, I'm not sure. But I do want to start with this big pumpkin here. And uh, let's see, what else do I have? I do have a couple of towels, but I think I've got, it's busy enough over here on the blanket that I don't really need anything over on the blanket, but I would like a little something hanging down here. So I think I will add just this little towel, just kind of draped over, right like that. So guy's gonna put his feet up on the, up on the pumpkin. Maybe. Sit up there, buddy. Now, I do have a little bit of fall leaves and picks and stuff here. So let me just try to do a little something, something. Not a lot. Just add a pick, you know, here and there. Just to add a little bit of interest He's sitting in his little patch. And I also do have a welcome friends little plaque. And since that has sunflowers on it, and since the Pumpkin has sunflowers on it. Why don't I add a sunflower or two to the mix? A thimble going to a sunflower. I'm 
I don't have any more sunflowers. That's it. Two. Woo. So well. <laughs> That's enough. Looks cute, I think. All right. So now. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do for up there, I think. So let's turn around here, turn our attention to the chair again. As you heard me say, Chris, uh, the lantern up on the hook up there, he rigged up as well as he did this one. These are uh, lanterns that look the same. I'm gonna add two more scarecrows down here. And I'm going to set this fella kind of up on the, on the arm of the chair. And then here is a little pumpkin to match the big one. Put that down here. If I need to, I'll take a glue dot and glue dot his butt to the chair handle. That might help him stay in place. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, these leaves, not a lot, just, you know, a couple here and there, just to bring in the feeling of fall. And that's it, y'all. I think that will do it for this for this little area over here and for this cozy corner. I love it. I did have these blue pumpkins. I could put one there. I don't want to put any up there. I like I like how that looks up there. So I'm not going to put a blue pumpkin. I'm going to put one down here. And that's it, y'all. That is it. That's all I'm going to do. I used almost everything I brought over here. I'm just going to use this little pillow. This is a cute pillow, but I'll use it somewhere else. But everything else, you know, I used. I love it. All right. So let's uh, get back from this a little bit. Well, actually, I'll take a, a nice, you know, video of this at the end and show you everything. But uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out this year. I would say I achieved my goal of adding blue to the harvest instead of, the harvest to the blue and white, you know? I'm really, really enjoying doing this. It is presenting me with a challenge, which I love. So anyway, all right, let's head over to the kitchen table and I'll show you a couple of more things that I got from Amazon and we'll do a real quick tray design and that'll be it for this one. All right, I'll see you in just a minute back over at the kitchen table. Okie dokie, everybody. I'm back over here at the kitchen table. I'm really happy with how that worked out. Oh my goodness, I just got back and looked at it. It looks super cute. Super, super cute. So, uh, I love this time of year. I have been working for the rest of the year trying to, you know, make my decor a little bit more subdued and, you know, less busy, if you will. But I feel like with fall, you could really start to ramp up and make things a little busier and, you know, adding in the fall leaves and the pumpkins and all of that, it just makes my eyes happy. No matter how, how I do it, it just, I just love decorating for fall. For those of you who are wondering, I am starting early. I do realize this, uh, and, and I'm certainly not starting early to annoy anybody. <laughs> seems like a lot of people on the internet get annoyed. Uh, and, and I don't expect anybody else to start this early. Trust me, I don't. The reason I'm starting early is because it takes me a while to get through this, the main level of this house. And I put up, I'm going to try to be putting up three videos a week. And just on this side of the house, I believe with this one, I have like nine vignettes that I want to do or areas that I want to decorate. So, I mean, it's a lot, you guys, it's a lot. Then I do the living room, foyer and dining room too. And then we are going on vacation. So, plus, by the way, they're going to be starting the pool at the end of next week, it seems like. So, I'm going to be bringing you that, too. I don't know whether I'll bring you an extra video a week or something with just a pool update or whether I'll throw it in with my fall decor. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But first, before I get started making that tray centerpiece, I wanted to show you very quickly. I got three more things from Amazon. 
Uh, one is, you remember that uh, purple necklace I bought? I ended up buying myself one in red. Uh, I haven't even worn the purple one yet, but I have, I realized a lot more red <laughs> in my uh, wardrobe than I do purple. So I bought myself a red necklace just like this, just like the purple one. And this will be in my jewelry Amazon uh, gift idea box. Not expensive, you guys, not expensive at all. So I got that. And y'all remember the little sign I have as you walk up the sidewalk. And I did have a spring, or I, excuse me, I did have a patriotic little long sign in there. Uh, I found a site and I went ahead and bit the bullet. They're $30 a piece, I'm just telling you. Now they might be cheaper, they might be higher on Amazon. You know, you just never know about the prices and sometimes you can find them with coupons and sometimes you can't. Uh, but I ended up buying two more long uh, signs for out there. Here is one that we already have put out there for the rest of the summer. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then, so that was one I bought. And then this one I purchased for fall. Isn't that cute? It just says welcome on it. And I have a gift idea box. Again, I'll give you external links to this box. And we'll try to update it as much as I can. But some of these signs are available. Actually, I'm going to leave all the signs in there because they come and go. So check back often if you're interested in one particular sign. It may come back in in a couple of days or a week or a month even. So I'm just going to leave what I have in there in that box. Anyway, these are super cute signs. I believe I do have the holder linked in there too. So that's what I got. So that's all I got. I just wanted to show you that. Just wanted to show you those few things real quick. Okay, so now let me turn my camera and we're going to get started making this centerpiece. And I am using all the parts and pieces that I used last year and it will look similar. I didn't even look at what I did last year. To be honest, I just pulled out my Ziploc bags that said family room credenza. So I know I use these parts and pieces in the tray centerpiece. So let me get my camera turned and we're going to get started making this quick tray design. All right. All right. Here we go. You guys, I'm back. And you can see a couple parts and pieces sitting around here that I'm fixing to use. And I'm going to start with this tray. I don't really remember where I got this tray. It was either from Amazon or it was from Home Goods. And uh, if I got it from Amazon, I'll throw it in my 2022 fall decor accent pieces in my Amazon uh, storefront. So if you don't see it there, then you'll know I probably got it from Home Goods. <laughs> So we're gonna start with that, and I'm not gonna put anything in the bottom of it. I like it just to be to look like that. I do have a towel here that I may add, you know, coming out out of it like that. So I'll just kind of lay that like that right now. And I am going to use that cream colored candle stick holder that is, you know, pretty big around right back in this corner. I need to turn it this way to myself a little bit. So that is gonna sit back in this corner. And then I do have some pilgrims here. So they're gonna stand kind of out in front of the, uh, the white candlestick holder. And this is the pilgrim family, give thanks, I love it. And yes, I'm using pilgrims. Throughout my decor, you will see pilgrims. I'm not a Halloween decorator. I, I decorate for the harvest, you guys. And I think of pilgrims. When I think of fall decor, I think of pilgrims. So they are going to go right there. This is a beautiful, uh, gorgeous vase that Amanda Thrasher sent me. I absolutely love this. Uh, and I've had it in this tri front and center, center stage for a very long time now since she sent it to me. And I do want to keep this, plus it brings in an element of the blue. So I really like that. We will be adding some things to that. Also, uh, for the third kind of piece here, I'm going to put this pumpkin. This is a pumpkin that can be plugged in. And I can't remember where I got this. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby several years ago though. And I'm just going to kind of let it set on the, or let it lean on the back of the, tray. So I'm going to put that right there. And then I have a little candle holder here. I just want to snug this up in this corner. Uh, this is a milk glass little candle holder, but it pulls the blue over here along with this little fella's shirt. You know, it kind of pulls the blue on in. Also, there's blue in the 
in the towel too. Uh, I do have some blueberries here and I'm going to pull up some, you can see it says credenza tray centerpiece. I've got two bags of this. Let me pull this out of here. I'm not sure what goes where or what I had where. Let's start with this and we'll make a little arrangement in this. I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the white in there because it kind of pulls on her little headdress and her their collars and I like just a touch of white. So let's see. I've got some more blueberries and this is that same foliage, if you will, that I used over in the vases on the mantle. And I'm going to put a grapevine pumpkin in, All right like that, and a couple of little fall looking daisies. I think that'll do it. Maybe one more thing of blueberries over here. And she does have a bit of a burgundy on her, so I kind of want to pull a little bit of burgundy in too. pretty good. I do want to follow. I really just want the white to be like a bit of an accent. So I just want to, I just want you to be able to see a touch of it. So I am putting more fall in there and blueberries. All right. I like that. I think that looks super pretty. So, put that right And I do have another bag of stuff here. I'm just playing now, y'all. blueberries left. I have no idea. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that kind of changed my way of thinking here anyway. Let's do it like this and just have it coming out this way. Instead of having kind of two separate designs, let's just do that. I like how that looks better. I tell you guys, I very rarely throw anything away. Just, you know, even the littlest uh, piece can make such a huge difference. I must have had this in there some way last year. It might be a little much for this year. Might have had it sitting out front. Hmm, kind of like that. Yeah, that looks cute. There we go. I think that looks pretty. All righty, you guys, let me turn my camera and we'll do. Some final words and that cream color 
candlestick will go right there. So let me turn my camera and we'll do some final words here. My bottom line, y'all, is I really do just love to decorate, honestly. I love it. It is my passion. I just, I'm challenged and I love it. I love it. It keeps my brain synapsing right here at 60 years old, almost 61. I'll be 61 in October. So anyway, I love how this worked out and I'm going to get it over there on the credenza and then I'll take some final pictures and, and I'll stand back and take some pictures of that whole end of the room because this will complete that end of the family room. So Alrighty, thank you guys so much for stopping in here today. Uh, I'm just going to go into my final words here and say uh, to those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, come back on Friday. I'll have more for you. I'm not sure what we'll be doing, but it'll be more fall decorating for sure. Maybe this three-tiered pumpkin I have sitting here that I got from Joanne's all those years ago. Maybe we'll do that. So, and I don't know what else. <laughs> so come back and, and see me on Friday, and we'll keep decorating. All right, y'all. Until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.